Now it's important before you start fishing to get your harness adjusted correctly for the individual angler. And obviously body shapes uh, vary between people and that will mean different strap adjustments and lengths and it'll save you a lot of time right when you can't afford to waste any, uh, when you've got to react quickly to a fish. The first thing you do after the fish strikes is to fit the rod butt into the gimbal. Now you'll see the slots on the bottom of the rod, they fit onto, a, onto the steel pin which is at the bottom of the gimbal. And it's important to get it seated properly so that the rod is supported and won't twist. Then attach the harness legs, one from each side, like so. And as I said, it, it's easier to adjust them in after the rod's clipped on than it is to let it out. So just by pulling the strap, I can get the rod up to where I want it, where it's seated nicely and the whole system is supported by the harness. And now that you're all harnessed up and the harness legs are adjusted, you can put some pressure on the fish. You can see how this harness section supports the lumbar region of your back, pushing it in rather than pulling you forward from the shoulders and popping that part out. And This sort of harness is a, is a, a great improvement o over the old chiropractor's delights which uh, really were a, a painful way to fish. Now, as you can see, um, you can quite comfortably put a reasonable amount of pressure on, but if you want to put more on, what you do is grab this bottom section of the harness, slide it down further under your bum, and then just sit on your fish. You don't have to use any muscular strength, you don't have to haul on it with your arms. It's all just being done with your body weight, which is great for unfit people like me. You can put as much pressure on as you like without really straining yourself. Now once the fish stops running, it's your turn to get some line. And the way you do it is by pumping, using the rod as a lever to pull line towards you and then winding with the handle. And the easy way to do it with this sort of setup is to basically, as I said, just sit on your fish like that and then lift yourself forward on your legs, wind down. Squat and wind, squat and wind, and you should be able to get a turn of the handle every time you do that. With this system, it's possible for even a weekend warrior to put a lot of pressure on a fish, which equates to getting it to the boat reasonably quickly on stand up gear. Um, with 37 kilo line, you should be able to put um, 15 or even 20 kilos of, of drag without causing yourself any pain. Now because these harnesses allow you to put a tremendous amount of pressure on a fish, it doesn't mean to say that that's a desirable thing. Um, normal drag settings on a reel game gear is about a third of the breaking strand of the line. For example, 24 kilos and we set around about 8 kilo. And if you fight your fish steadily and keep constant pressure on it, you'll get it just as quick as if you go flat out and you won't run any risk of breaking a line, slipping over or any other hazard. Black Magic make this adapter for those who prefer to use short curved butts on their stand-up rods. It just slips into the bottom of the gimbal and is either bolted or screwed through the bottom and that shifts the pin further forward and allows you greater play with the rod. Now a lot of reels these days don't have harness lugs. Uh, ones that are used for deep water jigging can often hook up on very very large fish and after a while you're starting to get a bit tired. So Black Magic make this accessory which you can fit to a rod and reel unit that doesn't have harness lugs. The way this is attached is you slip the loop of this cord round in front of the reel, bring it back underneath, slip the two loops through this plastic buckle and you can do one of two things. One is to hook a clip into one to each side of the harness clips and when you do that 
pull them from opposite angles so that the, um, the, the line isn't going to slip off from underneath the reel. The other thing that you can do is to put one clip through both eyelets and then snap the other one onto the buckle of the first, like that. You'll then need to shorten up the side one to get everything pulling up nice and even.